game seven? Still sort of situation? Uh, sorry, game seven. Oh no! Yeah, we've come here to win this game. Yeah, we're not we're not worried too much about uh, Bangalore at the moment. We're worried about winning this game and um, yeah, wrapping it up on Wednesday. So uh, yeah, we've played some pretty good cricket. It's been a you know from a spectator's point of view, it's been a, a pretty good series so far and, and a good one to play in. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to this this Wednesday and uh, yeah, wrapping it up. Yeah, that's right. It was nice to get a sweat up today and actually get outside and, and have a run around. So. It's a bit of a frustrating couple of days um, up in Cuttick, so it's good to be here and, and running around. This coming game? Yes. Uh, well, I, you know, it's. Uh, I'm not. I'm not worried too much about what team India are, uh, see it as. It's for, for, from our point of view. This is the game that we want to win. Um, we don't. We don't want to save it to the last game to make it a sudden death. We want to uh, wrap it up this this game. And um, yeah, obviously from their point of view, they they need to win this one to, to, to stay alive. So um, yeah, it is it is pretty crucial for them. So, yeah, uh, the last two matches, uh, since to what do you think that you are in a slightly advantageous position than India? We're in a. Say that again. Sorry. You are in an advantageous position than India, uh, leading to one. Uh, Oh yeah, well I'd say so. Yeah, I'd rather be two one up than two nil, uh, two one down. So, um, yeah, but like I said, it's been a pr both teams have played some really good cricket, and um, it'll be about who's who's better on Wednesday. So, um, yeah, like I said, it'd be I'd rather be in our position than theirs. But um, it's it's whoever will be better on the day. Yeah, it's been a battle for all bowlers, I think, not just spinners. So, um, yeah, I think I was chatting to some of the media in Australia before I left, and you know, I did say that I expected some spinning wickets um, as we got in the Test series here. But um, probably the the game, the last game in Ranchi, I think it might have been, was spinning a little bit, um, and it looks like this wicket might spin a little bit as well. So, um, I think the spinners might play a bit more of a role here, and um, yeah, but uh, it, it has been pretty tough going for all spinners and oh, for all bowlers, sorry, and. Uh, from my point of view, it's just been about sort of locking down and um, trying to get trying to get out of my, my ten overs um, as best I can, and you know if, if uh, you know build that pressure and, and try and get the wickets um, either at my end or the other end. So um, it has been pretty tough though. Javier, uh, how difficult it is for spinners after how difficult it is for spinners after that uh, four fielders? So they go, I missed that. Four fielders. Oh, the, it's been a, a it's been a real challenge. Um, there's no doubt about that. Um, I guess st still having 20, 20 cricket with five fielders out and then bringing it back, so the, um, the batters really get to cash in on that advantage still, um, I think. So uh, it has been pretty tough, but you know that's that's the way it is. You know it's it's the same for everyone, and um, it, it doesn't look like they're going to be changing it back anytime soon. So we have just got to suck it up and, and move on. So um, personally, I'd rather have five fielders out, but uh, that's the way it goes. And I think from a spectator's point of view, there are more boundaries and more runs scored, obviously, and you know, 350 run chases, and I'm sure there'll be 400 run chases, that, no doubt about that. So um, that's just the way cricket's going, and like it or not, that's the way it's going to be. Xavier, there were some reports back in Sydney yesterday uh, that Mitchell Johnson was, was in doubt with the side strain, but uh, we saw him train that yeah. day. Can you just talk about how fitting uh, with the training today? I suppose the impact of the he bowled fast enough for me not to want to go into his net. I can tell you that much. Um, I had the option and, and chose not to face the spinners for, for 20 minutes. But um, yeah, there's no there's no issue with Mitch. He bowled for uh, 30 minutes and then probably another another 15 extra at the end. So absolutely no issue. I, I'd imagine he'll be he'll be in our lineup on Wednesday. Wow, I, I think he's been, from my point of view, he's been the standout from both teams. Um, he's the guy that we go to, and any time we need a wicket or, or to you know restrict those runs, he's got that extra pace. He's 10, 15 k's quicker than anyone else playing in the series, and um, <clears throat> on wickets with any sort of grass, he's a real weapon for us. So um, I know there's been a lot of runs scored and, and a lot of you know big scores, but from my point of view, Mitch has probably been the man of the series so far for me. Stats that goes up and it makes for a good reading that the 
number of deliveries we have told to my is only for about 80 odd or maybe more than that he has not scored up any boundary or over boundary. Okay. Uh, how was it for you to tie it down? It's very difficult for any one of uh, stats can probably lie sometimes. So I guess um, I haven't bowled, bowled to him in the last five overs, and I'm sure that stat would change if I did, because that's that's the way he goes about his his, uh, his innings. But um, I guess that's that's the role for me, and is through the middle of middle of the innings, is to t you know try and tie it down whoever's batting and stack as many dots up as I can, and um, hopefully the wickets come either at my end or the other end. But um, yeah, bowling them it's all you know he's one of the you know real power hitters in the, in the world cricket, so it's it's a great challenge and. Um, yeah, I'd like to get his wicket at some stage in the next two games. It'd be nice. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. The team India has been pressured before the start of the series. They were favourites. Yep. Must be eyeing to get this set ODI to see the series here. Yeah, absolutely. We've come here to win. This is this is the game we want to win. We don't want to take it to the last the last game in Bangalore. We want to wrap it up right here and now. And um, we feel like we've played some pretty good cricket coming into this game. And um, yeah, we feel like we're in a pretty good position. We've got another training day tomorrow to, to really wrap things up and um, hit the ground running on Wednesday with the eye of uh, you know, sealing it right here and now. It's too for the whole time. It is, yeah, of course it is, yeah. Well, I think you know, we'd rather be in our position than theirs. And um, yeah, there's a, probably a fraction more pressure on them, but you know, it's whoever comes out better on the day will, will take that advantage going to the last game. Hopefully it's us you know, with a serious win. Last two at the back. With the two new balls, uh, so how has this figure, has this figure, how have you, uh, any changes, uh, the adjustments that you made to your uh, technical passing uh, as such? Uh, just throw some light on no, no, yeah, not, not, too, not too many changes for me um, from my point of view. Obviously the, the ball does stay harder, longer into the, um, longer into the innings, but um, from a personal point of view it hasn't really affected me uh, too much. Um, yeah, bowling early obviously is a bit more of a challenge. Uh, the ball's newer and harder and comes, you know, skids onto the bat a little more, particularly on the wickets that we've played on. But, um, yeah, no, it's like, like, like the, the new rule with the, the four men out, that's the way it's going to be for some time, I'd say. And, you know, they're not going to be changing it. Last one. Uh, just to build on that, uh, if you have two new balls in England or Australia, of course, it's different having two new balls in India. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a case for customising it, maybe having uh, two new balls in England and one in subcontinent? Yeah, I think that's probably something they should look at. Um, obviously, with the scores that we've seen here, uh, there's been less impact with the new balls anyway. So I, I don't think there's a real need for to have new two new balls over here. And you know, I guess there, there, I think there is a case to have a, you know, a, a country, a country by country sort of you know situation. Or I think even if there's a shortened game, we still to use two new balls, which I think is a bit, it's a bit ridiculous. But that's you know that's the way they are. But I'm sure you know. Leading into this World Cup, I'm sure they'll look at you know some some different little things looking around those rules, but they're minor things, I think.